is welcome to our ninth problem a pot of boiling water at 100 degrees celsius is removed from a stove at time t equal to 0 and left it to cool in the kitchen after 5 minutes the water temperature was decreased to 80 degrees celsius and another 5 minutes later it was dropped to 65 degrees celsius De determine the temperature of the kitchen what they ask they ask the room temperature let p be the temperature of the water temperature of the water okay. and s be the temperature of the room okay. now what is given first case t equal to 0 capital t is equal to 100 degrees celsius next t is equal to let cool in the 5 minutes after 5 minutes 80 degrees celsius another 5 minutes later 10 minutes capital t is equal to what so what is our answer? Newton's law of cooling dt by dt is directly proportional to t minus s. Remove the proportionality dt by dt equal to k into t minus s. dt by t minus s is equal to k dt. Now integrate this log t minus s is equal to kt plus log c. So, log t minus s by c is equal to kt. t minus s by c is equal to e power kt. t minus s is equal to c e power kt. So, sum is t is equal to s plus c e power kt. So, first condition when t is equal to 0, capital T is equal to 100. Am I right? 100 is equal to s plus c e power 0. So, s plus c is equal to 100. s plus c equal to 100. This is our first equation because we want to find out what is s and what is c also. So, second case when t is equal to 5. t is equal to 5. Capital T is equal to 80 degree Celsius. Now substitute in this a t is equal to s plus c e power k t. What is our answer? A t is equal to s plus c e power pi k. So a t minus s is equal to c e power pi k. I can have this equation as 2. And third condition they have given that t is equal to 10. Capital T equal to 65 degree Celsius. So what is our answer? 65 is equal to s plus c e power 10k. So, 65 minus s is equal to c e power 10k. So, we can have this as third equation. Now, second equation divided by 3, what is your answer? Uh, if you multiply with the 2 here, what is my answer? 80 minus s the whole squared is equal to c squared e power 10k. So, I can have this to be the second equation. So, second equation divided by 3 implies c squared e power 10k divided by c e power 10k is equal to 80 minus s the whole square divided by 65 minus s. So, we can cancel this. So, our answer is c is equal to expand this one a minus b the whole square from the 80 squared <coughs> 6400 plus s squared minus 2 into 80 so 160 yes divided by 65 minus yes so what is our answer i have yes plus uh, so we can bring it to this side our answer is what is our answer from here i have to remove this c my c is nothing but our 100 minus yes from the first equation First equation is S plus C is equal to 100. So, C is equal to 100 minus S. Now, substitute here 100 minus S into 65 minus S is equal to 64,000 plus S squared minus 160 S. 
nothing but 20 degrees celsius therefore the temperature of the kitchen is the temperature of the kitchen is 20 degree celsius that is our answer just a calculation part this is our first equation s plus c is equal to 100 we get the answer Here it is T is equal to 65 degree Celsius is given. Drop it to 65 degree Celsius. So that is our 